and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for our third Karma deck tonight for our Karma Spotlight Night Karma Lux. Hasn't gone so well for us tonight, but we still have another deck and we're going to try to turn it around and we're going to see how well we can do here with these uh, two fine champions. They work really, really well together, especially when both of them are leveled up because uh, whenever you have your Lux and you spend your six mana of spells, um, then you're creating your final spark. And um, when you have a level up karma, you you double everything. So all you have to do is play a three mana spell, and then that gets doubled, and that's your six to be able to create your final spark. But the really impressive thing is whenever you have your final spark, you get to double your final spark. And so now the final sparks are dealing, you know, you're casting two of them. They're dealing eight damage to the enemy. They have overwhelm. Those things can really wipe out some very important enemies and also uh, finish off the enemy nexus very fast. So that's that's really what these two cards are trying to do. So you're trying to get to the late game with your Karma and your Lux and have your um, get your final sparks with your level up Karma. That's what you want. And so we're going to have a good amount of lifesteal stuff to be able to help get us there. Radiant Guardian is going to be big, uh, helping us get to that late game. We'll also have the Eye of the Dragon getting us our different draglings. Going to be playing one health potion in here to be able to either heal stuff or um, you know heal our Nexus. Besides that, uh, Egghead Researcher is going to be another blocker that will also get us some other top end stuff with some dragons. We'll have some card draw with Shadow Assassin and Deep Meditation. Um, and Remembrance can sometimes be Radiant Guardian also. Um, Remembrance works great with both of our champions. You know, you can double it up with Karma. It can uh, level up your Lux by itself. Very good card there. So, And then a lot of the same cards that we've been playing with our other decks. <laughs> so hopefully they work out this time. All right, we're going to go play our five games in Ranked with Karma Lux. Okay. So let's see what our predictions. Yeah, thanks for joining live today, cause for you. Happy to have you here. No, no Mage Seekers, I didn't go that route. No, I didn't go with the Mage Seekers. Went like Egghead Researcher instead. Okay, Draven, Ezreal. Hopefully we can outvalue them in the late game and stay alive long enough in the early game. Both those things together. I'm going to keep this, because <clears throat> we have our Egghead Researchers to start with. I like those. Good blockers early. We can try to have a, ra a Egghead Researcher die for a Radiant Guardian. And then we got a Lux at top end. All right, so we're going back to uh, check out this board. So this is the board that can make the comments. The other board can't. Uh, the, the Nexuses are different as well. They look pretty cool. Oh, come on. <laughs> I don't want them to make the exact same dragon at 8 mana. That is not what I wanted. Alright, so I have nothing to play this round. Unfortunately. What is this? So sometimes you get punished for keeping your Radiant Guardian Lux, because then all you do is draw other things that are super expensive. Which was the case here. I would have loved that last round. That would have been just fine. Follow the track. So we're telling our opponent we have Radiant Guardian. So now they know that, now they can play around it. If they so choose. Don't blink, or you miss me. Justice will be served. I will 
end this here. So it's important that their Ezreal is on the left. <clears throat> so they create the Mystic Shot. Because um, if it was if the Draven was on the left, they would have created the Spinning Axe and then the Mystic Shot would have got burned. Yeah, Radiant's trying to hold back the darkness. What are you staring at? Just your face hair. Face and hair. Demacian steel. Try Demacian magic. That's number three for Ezreal. Pull back the darkness. Um, I don't really like an option. Yeah, nah, 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 I know, I get it. Good calling strike. Get him, Infinite Mind Splitter. Cycling.
my spirit is an unquenchable fire. So I still have deny protection. Scorched Earth, I can just nopify that though. Save two extra mana. Unfortunately, I don't think that counts as kick casting two spells because the second one should fizzle. Um, as far as you know, casting two spells and deep meditation goes for next round. I'm glad that wasn't a ravenous walk. Oh, okay, so we did cast two spells. Okay, well, we are going to be denying. To force them to have three things to kill this. Because let's see, because they're not blocking. So this is lethal. I guess it's not super likely that they have, you know, two other out of these four cards, two of them can kill something. Okay, cool. I was thinking about, like, I was probably just going to let that happen and, like, play Radiant Guardian. Was, was I was considering doing that or even just, like, playing a new. Um. 8-8 eight, eight to shut down the Ezreal, but yeah, that works. Look at that. Karma. Then I realize, wait, it's not really that likely that they can just kill this thing a whole bunch. You have to stop scratching my chair. This doggo. All right, will we win? Yes. What do we get? Prismatic rewards. How much we get? 25. That's one fourth of a common. Yeah, Egghead Researcher. Doing some work. Oh, new prediction. All right, same matchup again. Let's see if we get the same result. That would be nice. All right, so Mulligan, Mulligan, Mulligan. We'll keep Nopify. That's a good cheap card. We want. We need some cheap cards. All right, Eket Researcher. You did well last time. You got us the. Uh, Infinite Mind Splitter. Let's see if you can do it again. Ask me about dragons. I just may have an answer. I will take that one. That's a good one. Five five spell shield. That's a good one. I like the Egghead Researcher Homecoming combo. Also, that's a good, that's a cool combo. It's not bragging if you can back it up. Ooh, that's gotta hurt. Charge. We each hold the world. I don't really have anything to do with this Eye of the Dragon. But we have an Eye of the Dragon Dragon deck. So there's some synergy there. You want to go blow up a world? Oh, there it goes. Dang. Never misses. Yeah, three sharp sights in the list. Yep. 
Sharp Sight's an incredible card. We got three of them. Not having too much luck finding it yet. Yeah, Sharp Sight's great in this matchup and great against Ezreal. Right, but it's very good in this matchup for sure. Just against Mystic Shots and everything like that. I'll take that trade. Thermogenic Beam, good removal spell for like my champions and stuff. Like, I'll definitely take that trade. Only three mana left? Can I play Lux this round? What is their plan? They broke up the spell shield. What's their plan with that? I'm just going to play Lux. I think we should be good with that. Necessarily mind them, you know, killing the firebrand so that I get uh, Radiant Guardian in play. Doesn't look like they want to do that though. Oh, Screeching Dragon's good. Lock that, Mystic Shot that. Let's go with plus three, plus zero there. Aha, I see. You know that to level up Ezreal. Now I get it, it's for leveling up Ezreal. Well, I don't really like. Yeah, I don't really. I don't really like that double fly right there, but. Okay. We can take that. Got another missing shot out of their hand. So down to what? Five cards left? Yeah. So not a ton. I don't get to Radiant Guardian like I wanted.
I'm not sure. Could deny, but then they can have like another easy way to kill the Lux. We have a backup Lux anyway. I think because of Tribeam and probably later, let's save Deny. Let's just have our backup Lux do its job. Two less. Alright, can't double spell anywhere with the units. So we can play one of them. They've cast zero tri beams so far. Zero. So pretty likely they got some tri beams. Zero, zero. Zero tri beams. Zero, zero. Yeah, and a lot of a lot of like these cards over here have been sitting there in their in their hand for a while. Beam for four. Dragling just isn't important. This isn't important. That's a great hit. This card has a really good last breath. That one now. Try beam for nine. That one much more important. That was the deny I was looking for. It's not bragging if you could back it up. I will end this here. That'll that'll do, GG's. Sharp side top deck, man, play that deny perfect. Waited for that tri beam for nine that was sitting there. And we 2 0. Choose outcome, yes. Yeah, we did that one well. All right, sometimes it works. All right, so Siska, if you don't know, and actually just kind of maybe, um, what I think about single combat, I, I mean, I like the card, but we don't have like a lot of great units for it. It's kind of just Radiant Guardian, right? Like, or if we create some dragons, but we don't really have good single combat unit stuff normally, like our one threes and things like that. Whenever you wager points, there's just there's a certain amount of points on each side. So if you wager ten thousand points on win, like that last one, only people only bet like eight hundred total on loss. So all you can win is like that eight hundred total that were on loss. If you wager ten thousand, you don't just gain ten thousand. Um, it's it's just however much is set on both sides. You know, one side gets transferred to the other, basically, and it gets transferred um, proportionately. Uh, so like if you wager 10,000 and you know, like you're going to get a lot of the proportion if it's only like 800 kind of thing, but just, just so y'all know how that works with the predictions. All right, prediction started. Okay. We got Thresh Nasus. This can definitely be a tough one. Let's see if we can stabilize. That's going to be the difficult thing. Stabilizing. 
Mulligan, mulligan, mulligan. We'll keep the round three remembrance. Yeah, Egghead Researcher has been carrying us, hasn't it? It's been doing great. So I could go for round three remembrance, but I could also just play some eggheads. The reason to play egghead, of course, is because if... Wow. That's just a good trade. But, you know, like, if we have our, our eggheads die later, then that's good for uh, remembrance. out of here. I'm going to pass. If I, The thing I'm worried about with playing Shadow Assassin is that then I don't have uh, single combat to be able to pair with Screeching Dragon next round, but looks like maybe an open attack is kind of on the horizon. So Shadow Assassin can block either of those. Not ideal. I certainly wish I had one additional mana to go along with Screeching Dragon. I guess we'll just stun here. This thing's gonna be four power anyway. I could fight like the Ravenous Butcher. I think we've just fight this Reaper. I guess we can always reset Reaper with Homecoming though. We enter an age of men and gods. It's dragon time. That's not great. They always just have atrocity. Fortunately, that's just exact lethal. Just exact lethal. Oh, always lose to atrocity. <laughs> last, last match, you know, is last card atrocity this time.
GG's. Yeah, that initial aggress aggressiveness is really difficult to uh, survive. I felt really good about that game until the Blighted Caretaker. Right, like that's that's whenever I felt, oh no, was that Blighted Caretaker? It's definitely better units. It's not just the same units as like that Endure deck. It's definitely better because you get like that one mana fearsome that grows. That's like you know like there's the one mana Nasus. Uh, choose outcome will we win? No. Like one mana Nasus and Merciless Hunter are both huge additions to you know like that Endure part, right? Like Freljord didn't have anything nearly that good. Okay, really a Zeal. Again, the um, aggressiveness not going to be the easiest to survive against, but this is a very good Radiant Guardian matchup. If we can get to Radiant Guardian. We're, we're definitely keeping these two over here. The Twin Disciplines, I can kind of go either way. Um, I can see, yeah, I can see kind of going either way with the Twin Disciplines. I guess I'll mulligan. So no, uh, you know, one mana card that does four damage to us. That's good news. All right, cause for you. Have a great night. Thanks for hanging out today. Kordak, is there something you want me to add or something? Um, just, just let you know. Just let me know. Um, I'm something of an aspiring trichologist. I like White Flame Protector. To sacrifice an eye of the dragon. Well, maybe not. I mean, I guess I could. I could just block here. Keep both eyes alive. Take a good amount of damage, but you know we'll have a good amount of life steal also. Now it's actually casting multiple spells and getting some draglings at some point. Casting multiple spells. Can you give me something to notify. Inspiring Marshal. I will end this here.
Yeah, this, this inspiring martial card is overpushed. That was really strange. Breathe in, breathe out. That was really strange. So they just wasted the plus three plus one? I guess? I don't know if it's going to matter, like whenever you're sitting there looking at Inspiring Marshall, Azir, and, and Blade Dance cards, you know, I don't know if that's going to actually matter, but that was a little bit of a waste. Stay safe. I'll take it. Yeah, because like, these are just all four ones now. Puppy. Stop. Come here. Come here. All right, fine. You can stay down there. I don't like. So these are all four ones. I don't think there's any like play that keeps me alive. I guess like maybe I need. I guess I should have drawn and seeing if we found a removal spell for the Inspiring Marshal. I guess that was the best play. Yeah, I mean, I guess that's the best play. But, like, a Radiant Guardian doesn't save me from here. Guardian doesn't save me. Doesn't save me much at all. Um, yeah, I'm, I guess I'm sorry, Kordak. I guess I missed it before for the, on Discord. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, man. Yesterday, Kordak... Oh, yeah. I, I think you should definitely be playing three marshals. That card is insane. Like, four, six for five. Like, everything about that card is a little overpushed. Anyway, um... Yesterday, Cortex, so you were saying that... I guess I didn't take the time to really think about it. So you were saying that, like, you thought it was, like, a 52.6% win rate or something like that. And then when you removed... But 20% mirror matches and you removed it, it only went to 53%. Like, it only went up a half... A 0.6%, remember? And you were saying you did that math. And I, I was wondering... I don't know. I, I just don't... Remember how I was saying that? I don't think it, that was really the case. Like, were you counting it, like, both ways? Like, like, you know, like, that's that's one match, that's two people playing a mirror match? I don't know. I just don't see how that's possible. I guess 52.5 is already really close to 50, and so just removing a bunch of 50s doesn't get it up that much. I guess because I, I, that, maybe that's because of how close 52.5 is already to 50. Do you think that that's do you think that that's a realistic number though that that deck is only winning 52% of the time? Like do you think that that those numbers are accurate? It's kind of hard to believe that that pow powerful deck is only winning 52% of the time also. Like it's just it's hard to believe. And then, especially in, in non-mirror matches, it's only winning 53% of the time against all of the... I, I just find that really hard to believe. Against all the... 
yeah, but there's still just a lot of nonsense that people like me <laughs> and everybody plays and just... Is that only at the top t is maybe is that only like in like master's rank maybe I could I could believe that more if it's that like I don't because because I feel like it's got to have like really really high win rates at lower ranks like I, I you know because like that aggressive attack with with in lower ranks it's got to be doing amazing maybe that's just maybe that's just master's rank and I could see that and then you'll have because master's rank you have a lot more experienced players that really know what they're doing against it and it warps the meta around it Correct on on for this board. That's why there's the two boards. You can see like the, see the the guardians locked. You can't change your you can't change the guardian on that board. Okay, that that da that data was platinum. Up. Okay, I could see that more. That makes a little bit more sense. Talking about really Azir. Yeah, I really like this icon, isn't it? Yeah, it's the Lava Legends Braum icon. It's really nice. Okay, uh, prediction. Will we win? No. Okay, so we got some dragons. I'm starting the prediction. I'd like to wager channel points. Whoa, got a donation! Sun Disc, Sun Disc, Sun Disc. Okay, so a, a new ranked Sun Disc deck, I can do that. Cool. Yeah, well, I'll build. I can build a Sun Disc deck. Okay, writing that down. Oh, this is the... Okay, I... Okay. <laughs> I thought that we were playing against Shivana, Aurelian Soul, Targon stuff, but no, this is the Cythria combo deck, of course. Ask me about dragons. I just may have an answer. Probably a difficult matchup for us. More difficult, at least. Should have done the plus three. This isn't working. That was not good by me. That was that was not good. I need to get back into my head in this game. Me. Yeah, 
that was really poor. What is gained when we return malevolence? Virtue guides me. No, I. I couldn't kill Shivana as far as I know. After I played the two sharp sights, I was stuck. Couldn't kill Shivana anymore. Dragon Char. Dragon, bleh, dragon Chow with these two dragons is really cool. Like it's, it's. I still think people completely underrate how good uh, Fury is. I think people completely underrate that. Oh yeah, on turn four, yes, yes, I, I agree. I should have done something else different on turn four, I, I agree. Yes, I I needed to play cards and do stuff on turn four and fight and try to kill the Shivana, which I I could have. So I, I lost this game. Gotten rid of a couple of Shivanas. Yeah, maybe they don't have. I've I've never played against a stack and they don't have Matron Cythria, but again, they didn't just play it right here. Oh, they just had all three Shivanas, I guess. Maybe they don't have it. You know, there's a first for first for everything. not acting like they have it. Yeah, so this is the... Yeah, so new... Cool-looking Shivana. If you haven't seen it. 
Uh, Legends of Runeterra just added in what they call skins, alternate art on the cards. I really should have. I should. I really should have had those fight last round before playing Lux, like because then they got to do that attack. I mean, they have the combo, this Radiant Guardian kills me. Draw like a removal spell or something, but. Alright, so I played the beginning of that game pretty poorly, especially round three, but. Um, Shivana's awesome. Yeah, Shivana is still great. This was round four. I think I might have said round three. Just kind of the end of a, of a really rough night. <laughs> That's our late night stream here. Uh, we had, uh, you know, incredibly long games and just a, a real rough day today and so yeah i didn't didn't put up my best effort that last game sorry about that but that's all right so unfortunately karma spotlight night didn't go too well for us i i don't know i like all the decks that we have but they just didn't um you know didn't didn't go too well one of those days some days you have some days you have things go your way some days you don't one of those days so anyway, that's going to be it here for Karma Locks. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, as always, feel free to leave those comments as well. I'd appreciate that. But thank you so much for watching some Karma Locks, and I'll see you for the next video.